Inside the Circle, Sean, Season 6, Episode 5.1. I got a question. Long time no see. What's your question? Wait, is it, does it have to do with a the theme? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, go. No. I'm just curious. This is the longest we've been without having a show. Three weeks? Four weeks? Where are we at? No, we go from uh, February to November. Oh, really? <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. In season, though, yes. Three so weeks. Really got that on the yeah, no, 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 we wouldn't have. Uh, it has been a while since we've been back, and we are glad to be back. Glad we were able to get some time. And uh, just got back from the Ohio State match. It was great. We're all fired up about wrestling. And uh, we took a break. Um, want to give a shout out to the Central District. Um, our last event was supposed to be uh, the Sunday after, uh, what is that, Sunday the 7th, uh, Dublin Kaufman, or I'm sorry, Dublin Sayota's. Kevin Cleveland Memorial and uh, Watkins Memorial lost a member of their team that day and uh, I just want to say shout out to the Central District, the way you rallied around, did great, actually matter of fact Hartley yesterday had a little stickers on their headgear, MB for Mason Boyd and uh, love that, the way you rallied. If you guys want to get involved with the scholarship fund, look on our website somewhere, it's on there, you can give until your heart's content and uh, set up a scholarship fund for them, set up by the parents, so great job Central District, really appreciate it. Uh, Rallied around quite a few oh, causes. That's great. Yeah, yeah. No, we've rallied yeah, around yeah, quite yeah, a few yeah. causes, and we love that. Yeah. But there was wrestling going on. There's been quite a bit of wrestling. We're just going to cover the last week. Sean Central Crossing had an event. We had teams from the Central District go out. A few One teams? Uh, a couple probably. <laughs> a couple probably. Uh, we had uh, uh, Hamilton Township. But Sean, let's start off down at the Jeff Arndt Classic, Amanda Clear Creek. Great stuff. It's always a good tournament. Yeah. Uh, I think they run their junior high like a week before or a week after, whatever it is. But anywho, Sean, you got an intel on the Jeff Arndt Classic down at Amanda Clear Creek. I want you to tell the people about it. Go. Yeah, as Mark said, there was a Jeff Arndt Classic down at the uh, Amanda Clear Creek. We love it when tournaments are named after people because that means this person was a great person and we're recognizing them, which we absolutely yes. love. But we did have some wrestling down there. Delvin Kaufman is your overwhelming champ. I think they won by like over 130 points. Whoa! Yeah, really, just handing them out down there. Out down I there. got you. They did have six champs. Six one, champs. One at 106, 113. 132, I would imagine. 145. 170 and 182. Yes, good job. So uh, Don't question me, boy. As the foremost mentioned, Walkers Memorial wrestling in it as well. They had yes. second. They had two champions. Who were their yes. two champions? Uh, Alec Full Wider at 126. Uh -huh. And your boy, Four. He's back in the Four, mix, he baby. He's back. You also won the Kevin Cleveland. Yes, he so did. He's coming out on fire. Nice. Now, Sean, the question we always ask about a tournament did the home team have a champ? My question to you. Did the home team have a champ? The home team did have a champ. They had a winner at uh, 120, Drake there. They got third overall as a team as well. So nice. uh, good showing by the home crowd and home nice. team. Nice. Hey, Amanda Clear Creek, you're going to travel just a little north and then a little west. You're going to go hit, up like 33, maybe, hit 27. Uh, I might go up 23, maybe go 22 over to 20. Well, okay. Anywho, we're heading to Central Crossing High School. I think this is like the sixth or seventh year of this, the Comet Classic. Yeah, probably. If I'm not mistaken. That's probably, that's probably that first one's still going on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but they've revamped uh, and retooled some things. And Sean, Central Crossing brought in some teams. Um, pretty tough teams from out of the area. Our, actually, our top finisher from the Central District was fourth place. With Hilliard Darby. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, a good showing though. That was a good yeah. solid tournament. They're yeah, starting to yeah. really top level uh, teams there, as Mark Certainly. mentioned. Hilliard Darby was the highest placing team from the Central District. They got fourth with 150 points, had two champs. Let me guess. Oh, well, that's ooh, not a guess. It's a good tell, Mark. Cover is one of them. And welcome back, Jared Ball. Yes, Jared Bark. Jared Ball has made an appearance. He uh, crushed that field. I think every never got out of the never got out of the second period or first period. I don't never think he ever got out of the first minute of any first period. He just crushed that field. But hey, anyways, great to see him back. Yes, uh, great to see Cobra. Logan back. Elm finishes fifth. Um, Central District, maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Uh, yeah. we're close They're up there with Redford Unit or down there, down there yeah. with Redford Unit. We don't know. They had 133 and a half points. Later on down the line, Central Crossing, the home team, uh, finishes eighth place with uh, got to be 115 points. Did they have Thank a champ? You. They did have a champ. The home team, baby. 160 pound. He's pretty good. It's Jaden Maddox. Not I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, I've you probably that. have. If you pay attention enough to wrestling, you might have heard of it. Or watch the show. Yeah, or watch the show. Uh, ninth place, Pickerington Central comes in with 112 points. They had a champ as well with Zulo, 145 pounds. Kid is tough. I think he disqualified last year. No. No, that's right. I had a uh, no. Ah, my bad. And then, uh, what about, the yeah, no kidding. Uh, finishing 10th, the uh, top five place winners uh, teams, uh, finishing 10th place 
would have been Grove City. Uh, they had a champ. They also had a champ. Well. Yes, they did. Swavely at 138 yeah, pounds. All right, kid's coming on. Yes, he is. He's very difficult. Uh, he's very difficult to wrestle. Kind of long, kind of strong, got yeah. some weight. Sean, we did have a. That's it for the comic classic. Going from the comic classic, we're heading all the way up north, baby. Wadsworth, the Grizzly Invitational Tournament. That's a great tournament. Oh, you it is a. Team? Yes. Phenomenal. It's like a condensed yes, crucible almost. Good. Sean, who would we have up there? We had two teams go up there from Central Ohio. We had Old Tangent Liberty that got second behind the home team. And then we had Tri Valley, which uh, went up there oh, as well. Oh, Tri Valley? Oh, oh really? Oh. Are they, are they central? No, we don't know. No, they're adopted. They're adopted. They're adopted. Well, then we had three champs. I mean, the usual suspects there, which is funny because um, you can say their names. Connor Brady. Okay, I just want to hear this one. Carson Carcelava. Oh, and Connor nice. Lawson. But this, but wait, time out. You can say Carcelava, but you can't say Cover. I know. Come on, crazy. man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll probably get an email for it. But you know another guy up there, Eckleberry. From Tri Valley, Mark actually texted me about this guy a month ago when he was wrestling 126. He's like, I really like this guy. Then we seen him come down to 120 this week for Tri Valley and got fourth. Keep an eye oh, on the man. Oh, Mark, that's yes, rare for you to point you. out talent before they do something. Yes. Right? Well, this is, this, guy. Uh, this is two. Uh, don't tell him about my heirs, my missus. Okay. okay. Just tell him about the ones I made. Okay. That's at Wadsworth. Good stuff, great showing. They also had a 13 pounder place uh, top four, I do believe. Okay. Yep. Sean, the tournament that you were at, though. We. We were there, we were but, uh, but we're one was coaching. Yeah, yeah. One was coaching, and we're not mentioning how <laughs> Westland had. Uh, we brought five, and you know, play six. Uh, and whatever. It's not the day. It's not the day. Sean, you were there though. Uh, great. I thought it was a great tournament. Rain good. Oh, that, well, that's that's huge. Tech, yeah, national anthem went off at nine twenty six. They said wrestling would start at nine uh, thirty. I do believe the first whistle blew at nine thirty. So I'm a happy man there. Great hospitality room. Tournament kept moving, plenty of space. Matt four was a little difficult, but other than that, man, it was all right. What about the teams involved? Sean, yeah. who's the champ? Hilliard Davidson was your champ. Boom. With three That's champs. Oh. oh, I got this. Uh, Duso, Gio DeSabato, and Demetrius uh, Monroe. Oh, you really went on a long shot. Yeah, there. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Delvin Sciota got third, led by champion Segura, 138. I could guess that, too. Reynoldsburg got fourth, led by heavyweight champion. Who was the champion there? Bear. Bear. I mean, it's heavyweight. Maybe keep an eye on this guy for dark. Definitely. Hey, I will say that Reynoldsburg did put on a good show. I think they filled all the two weight classes, and uh, they, they did well, obviously, well enough to get fourth, right? Right. It's so, a good showing. Yeah, definitely, and, definitely. And then rounding out the top five is Bishop Hartley, who had three finalists and a champ at 106 with Petrella. Most so. certainly, and that's the reference to the sticker for Mason Boyd. Sean, that is what happened over the last week. Now, there were some third... Uh, there were... Uh, there was some Thursday Night Thunder action in the OCC, and that's going to continue on. But Sean, well, there's something a else. Going oh, a, little a little wrinkle in there. There's something else going on, and it is the state duels starting on Wednesday night. And Sean, I cannot be happier. There's going to be some great matches. It's all consolidated in uh, two locations for the Division I. Um, going to be a good time. Uh, at Watkins Memorial, I think you're going to have Lancaster coming out against Watkins versus Tri-Valley. Okay. Those are going to be your two, uh, no, 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 Tri-Valley versus Watkins Memorial uh, winner. Last okay. time it was very close. This time I, I can't imagine being any less close. So you bring it in, you're going to face Lancaster, and I think Lancaster uh, carries on there. In the other side, 5B, you're going to have Marysville. Uh, you're, well, that, you're, that's, that's 6. You're talking about Region 6. Oh, I am, I am. I really thought I was talking about 5A oh, wait, you and 5B. Might be a 5B. I okay. think so, because okay. I thought 6A was, uh, okay. yeah, Dublin Coffin. So let me do, hey, mark it down. Mark it down. He was wrong. He <laughs> was wrong. This is, well, this is it. This is it. This is all we got. And it's on camera. So uh, 5B is Marysville, and I think they'll take on the winner. Uh, oh, that's hard, to, that's hard to call. That's a very unbalanced region to me. I mean, you have Lancaster basically all alone in my eyes up in 5A. Yeah, okay. But when you get 5B, you have Marysville, Westford North, Old Tangy, Delaware Hayes. Yes, yeah, that's true. Be a good, don't be a That's uh, true. Yes. Then you have uh, Upper Arlington. Woo! I mean, wrinkles are on wrinkles. Like five of the top six in that overall region on one true. side. True, but I so. think Marysville clears, and it's going to come down to the Old Tangy versus Westerville North winner. That's where I think so it's going to be. Yeah, to Marysville. Yes, yes. Lancaster. Most certainly. Okay. That's what I've got. Sean, you want to talk about Region 6? 
I think it's a two horse race. It's a two horse race. This is the first year that the state really changed the region. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, usually you'd have like Westville North or Lancaster and Delaware be down there, but they really changed it up a lot. It's because everyone knows this. Graham has been allowed to move up to Division One, right. and this is a direct result, basically, of our top team in the area not getting in the state duels. We didn't want Region Six to be a dead. They seen it as a dead region. Yeah, but you're. I, I bet you're right. That's it's what they told. Yeah. They said, "Look, we need a, a team in the region. We don't have to get in the best." Public, you know, best school in Central High to do it. So we're bringing Graham in and putting him in Region Six, which is crazy me that they thought that through like that. <laughs> but Graham is in there in Region um, right. Six. They're in Six B. Delta Call is a Six A, and I just can't see anyone beating them. They're going to meet up. Um, they're they're good. Here. I just so, watched them wrestle St. Ed's. Yeah. Streamed alive on That's Spectrum Sports, me. man. They, they were already going to wrestle St. Ed's, so why did they get in? The, I mean, Division they, One. Yeah. Do they want Elyria? Do they want Wadsworth? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I know this. I'm sure they have a reason. Always give the benefit of the doubt. Sean, <laughs> that's what's going on. Not only do we have Thursday Night Thunder, we also have the state duels. What about next week for Saturday's events? Delaware Hayes? Is that going on or is that in two weeks? Delaware Hayes is a week after the Westland oh, tournament. But well. Watkins Memorial has a tournament this weekend. Westland, the Cougar Invitational. A little eight-man bracket tournament. Ooh. Real nice like. It's not pools? No, no, not this no, time of year, man. No. You got January comes, you gotta go bracket, baby. That's funny because I think Watkins <laughs> is not pools. The bracket. <laughs> Gotta be bracket! Okay, uh, oh! Information had to be submitted for your uh, sectional team points. Yes! Sectional draw next so, week, oh, baby. Oh, yes, Mark, we almost overlooked that. Selection Sunday is a week from today. We will have a show breaking down every sectional. All five of them? Oh, we'll go all five. We'll talk about it. You know, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's going to be a quick one. These guys are going up north. That's it. Nah, it's going to be a little bit more. <laughs> you know, me and Mark have debated this since, like, the beginning of we found out this was going to happen. Yeah. And I have talked to some coaches, and I do think some coaches are going to take a flyer at Whitehall. They said they're going to take a flyer, but they're not the 8 to 30. No, 8 to 20 is what I call it. No, they're not doing 20. it. Okay. It's not That's a, fine. An 8 to 20 team's not doing it. It's the 30 and above who said, hey, who's saying that a team building? Uh, oh, definitely. Can, I believe that. Can, who's to say it can't be the last term of the season? In their mind. Like, yeah. why not be Tim Benning in the last week of the season? Plus, yeah. we get to go up and watch this phenomenal district on the school's dollar. I think I might take a flyer there. So, I think this is really only going to affect maybe three or four teams because I do think we're going to have three or four teams take a flyer yeah. there. And with the way it's uh, it's the way it's uh, structured with nine yeah. schools going there, two already there. Whitehall has made it very clear to everyone they are going to their own sectional. So, basically, yeah. we're looking at six teams and three of them want to be there to begin with. So. Yeah. There you go. And a week from now, we're going to have a sectional breakdown of weights to watch in every sectional and who we think were the big winners team-wise and who were maybe some of the losers of the way the bracketing is going to work out. Non-winners. So, you. All right, cool. Okay. Excellent. Sean, let's, uh, let's break down our top ten. We've had uh, three weeks to talk Ooh, about this. The shifting. It's probably it's changed a lot. Well, oh, has it? Do you think it has? Well, you're the man with the cue cards over there that the publishers and the producers give us to read. At Hold on, I'm not there yet. <laughs> it cleared your throat a little bit, mister. Nine and ten. Better not be the fighting Harris's or we'll be laughing the whole time. That Go ahead. Pretty funny. <laughs> Number ten, Delaware Hayes here. A team that okay. just has a really good dual meet team. They have wins over Davidson, wins over Darby, and wins over Scioto. Three teams have been ranked above them, but they're still lacking it tournament-wise, and I mm. think this is a team to look out for. They're in that crazy region we're talking about there. Yes. Five beers is going to make that. And they're the home hosting school. Will that count for anything there? Getting the crowd behind them? 6A, right? 6A? Is that 6A? It's 5B. 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 That's what I said. Delaware Hayes is holding steady in my mind at number 10. All right. What about number 9? We're going to a recent third place here at the... Uh, Hamilton Township. Hamilton Township. They got second the week before at their own tournament. Kevin Cleveland behind Westford North. Yep. Again, Segura leads the way there. These little guys are starting to come through. Lee is starting to come through at 106. Yes. Then you got... Uh, Duran, I mean, uh, Pulliam at uh, the top, have, uh, right? Pulliam and you got Duran at, uh, Bernie Duran at 220. So, mm, they're pretty uh, soft to me. I like them. I'm anxious to see where they go out for their sexual. They're going to try to get a split somewhere and what their focus is. Mm, I don't know, yeah. 38, they don't have to work. At number anymore. eight, Hilliard Darby. You know, I got a couple emails and texts from people thinking I might have had these guys ranked too high, but they're the highest finishing team at Central Crossing. I tell everyone who tells me that they, they're not high on their team, and trust me, there's probably 10 coaches that told me they're not high on their team this year. You don't know how bad this district is. So. <laughs> just, just hang in there. You'll be all right. Who are your, your Darby's? I think pretty solid. I mean, they're going to be on the board of Darby, aren't they? 
They're gonna have two champs possibly. That's a I lot think of their names at the top, so yeah. So they're gonna yeah. be there anyway? Yep. Oh Jesus. Ah, today is not the day, Sean. So they're gonna hold steady at number eight, regardless of the emails and texts we've been getting. <laughs> number seven! At number seven, we're going Davidson here. They had a really good show, and like they Mark did. said, they won the Hamilton Township by open lakes there. Maybe they're starting to develop some uh, second level second, guys yep. there. They've had some good showings. I mean, this is a team, again, they're gonna have three superstars. That's a lot of points. If they can get any kick in points from anybody else, you know, yep. from the other team, maybe give me a total of 20 points. This yep. could be a top five team on the Derby board in a month. So. Man, good yeah, showing, I like what I see. Good showing by them, and yeah, they're starting to get some steam here. Number six. Uh, number six for going west by north. We're going to get a look at these guys. Yes, we are. The uh, state duels on Wednesday up at Delaware. I'm anxious to see the matchup with Old Tangent. Maybe they'll decide who the uh. fifth ranked team should be. I'm sure they're going to have a good showing. They've been rested. They've been sitting on the, uh, the bench there for a while, getting healed up. They have a ton of numbers up there. Those coaches know what they're doing. So this is going to be an exciting time for Westville North going forward. A ton of numbers. Guarantee it's the largest roster in state. Seriously. 73 kids? We'll Come out, on, man. We'll send out a survey. No, I like that idea. Google survey. Here we go. At number, number five, five, we're going Old Tangy Braves here. Another team that's Ooh. kind of taking it easy after the holidays. They have a big match with Liberty. The day after the state goals on Thursday, so they're going to meet a rested Liberty team. I think that match would be kind of close with Liberty, but I don't think Old Tangy has the horsepower to overtake Liberty, but that still will be an entertaining match. Oh, yeah. Maybe there'll be an ITC uh, showing there. Appearance, oh, maybe. maybe. Go ahead, number four. At number four, Dublin Kaufman. God, these guys, I don't know why I get beat up on them. They really haven't done anything wrong this year. They've gotten first in every tournament other than the uh, Greater Miami Valley where they lost to Graham. They're... Um, they had that big win over Marysville on Wednesday, or did they? No. Oh. <laughs> not sure if they got that win or not, but this is a team, I think they may have found another possible state qualifier. We'll save that for another day, but the team gotcha. has great depth. All right, how about number, give me my top three, baby. At number three, we're going with Lancaster. I can dig it. They will be at the new Lex tournament here. That might be this week or the next. Ah, Jimmy Wood. Jimmy Wood. Jimmy that's Wood, a good tournament. Incredible, good. It's an incredible tournament. Great tournament. So we'll find out a little bit more about them. I expect them to breeze through 5A there until they uh, get to that Marysville match that they could possibly win. That's going to be an incredible match up there. <sighs> yeah. So uh, we're going to hold there. You know, this is where we get to. Am I going to make a change? Everyone knows that Dublin Kaufman beat Marysville. So is it going to be a make a change here? Is there a change made? Should they come down? Are you asking them or the live studio audience or me? Who are we asking here? The producers, the TV camera crew? What are you asking? You At tell number me. Number two, we're going on Tangy Liberty. I still don't know. Even though Marysville took that loss, I don't know if Liberty's got the numbers and depth to score here. There's a lot of shifting of weights coming, going down from what I've heard from little guys to big guys and upper weights. Not with Liberty, just in the district overall. Yeah. And I, I keep calculating points and taking points away because of all these moves I keep hearing. And I just don't know if these moves are going to help the Patriots here in a month. So uh, right now we're going to hold them into it. Number one, if there was ever a time to bail on Marysville, it's probably not. But when you look at the match with Dublin Kaufman, Dublin Kaufman will tell you that they probably got away with one there with Hurd being out. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a big swing. They, yeah. Their 13 pounder was out as well. I mean, mm. Marysville, you know, you are what you are at this point in the team you put on the match. You are, but I will give them a mulligan. We have not given we have not given Marysville a mulligan yet. I'll give them a mulligan, but I'm going to tell you this race is going to be so tight. Oh, I can't wait, baby! Absolutely going to be a photo. Would you call so. it razor thin? We'll call it whatever you want that <laughs> says it's close. Hey, I'm down with that, Sean. We got a great weekend of wrestling. No lie, get out, mark your calendar. Wednesday night, get out and watch some wrestling. Thursday night, if you can't get out Wednesday night, get out Thursday night. There's some great duels going on. If you can't get out Thursday night, Wednesday night, get out Saturday. There's some great events going on. That's all I'm saying. And if you can't do all that, watch the show on Sunday. Watch the, the show, baby. Right yes. Will we be periscoping the sectional seating live? Uh, yes. Get, follow us on Periscope, Twitter, oh, Inside Sunday. the Sunday, what time is it? 2.30. 2.30. The teams will be selected for all five sectionals. We will be Stop. Time. 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. We will be periscoping that live. So if you want to see the selection live as it happens, periscope us all. Periscope it, baby. And now you are inside the circle.